Hey y'all, Brandon Hewitt here with Be Random Fishing and we're going to be cleaning some fish today. We got a striper and a hybrid and I'm going to show you guys the best way, what I think is the best way to clean these guys. You can see the difference. See how that hybrid is, is a little, little taller and the striper is a little thicker. We're going to see how much meat we can get off of these guys. They are heavy, big fish, so we're going to start with the striper and then we're going to do the hybrid next. All right, so I have a regular fillet knife and then I have my electric fillet knife. So we're gonna try it first with the regular fillet knife and then with the electric fillet knife. So what you do is you got your gill plate right here and you can just make a cut right along that gill plate. And you go all the way till you feel like the backbone and the bones and you cut all the way to about right there by that fin and then you go right here down its back and just go all the way down its backbone. And you'll feel that knife, like see that right there? You'll feel it hit that backbone and that's when you don't push too hard, you just go all the way, follow that backbone all the way down the fish. Poke it through by that fin right there and then you just make the knife follow that backbone all the way down to the tail. And you cut through just like that. Look at that nice white meat. So what you can do is you're gonna take your fillet knife and just follow that rib cage and follow the backbone as you trim. And right there you can hear it. That's the rib cage right there. So right there is you turn up, turn your knife up a little bit and then go up and just follow that rib cage right around. Come up around the rib cage. And then right about there, I'll just poke my knife through and just cut all that belly meat off. I, get, I don't need all that belly meat. And then right about here is where you would cut the fillet off. This is a little trick I learned. You leave the fillet attached like this and then flip the fish over. That way when you're filleting on this side, it's easier to follow the backbone because that, that bottom fillet is gonna support the fish. So we're gonna try to clean this side with the electric fillet knife. And hopefully we don't mutilate this fish because this thing is a beast. But you're gonna follow the same procedure. We're just gonna cut through. Hopefully, if these don't come out, why aren't you attached? Why aren't you working? There we go. Right to the same spot. And then it's easier for me to do this. I turn the fish so its back is facing me. So it's easier to follow that backbone down. Oh, look at all that meat. The electric fillet knife, I definitely didn't get close enough. And you can see here where it was kind of cutting into the backbone. I think, for these bigger fish like this, it was better to use the regular fillet knife. But that's why we do these. You know my motto, fish learn, repeat. I'm definitely doing lots of learning. All right, at least we got a fillet out of it. I don't feel any bones, but you can see I left a little bit of meat right here. See right here along the backbone. Yeah, that's a, that's like a couple bites right there left behind. Let's see how, how good it is on the other side. Oh yeah, look right along the backbone, perfect. Now I have a lot more experience with the regular fillet knife too. That might mean, that might be a lot to do with it. 
but that's 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 a nice nice job there and then here you can see how much meat was left not a lot but definitely more than the other side let's just uh let's get a little nasty here for a second let's see what's in his stomach as i don't cut my hand off because i have never caught a striper before this is my first one it's the main reason i kept it because i want to see what they taste like Maybe this is best for the electric fillet knife. Uh, yeah, that cut right through that. All right. And we've got guts. Check that out. He's got a healthy liver right here that looks like a chicken liver. That's catfish bait. Mm hmm we might save some of this stuff. We'll get a plastic bag and save some for bait. That's his stomach right there. Oh, well, it was a female. Here you can see its eggs. I don't feel anything in its stomach. There's a scale, a couple little fish scales. The next step, now that we have our fillets off the fish, is to take the skin off. You just take your fillet knife and you run it right down the skin. And I do it at about a, a little less than 45 degree angle, like right there. And if you go too sharp, you cut into the skin. And if you go too narrow like that, you'll leave too much meat next to the skin. So it's like a fine, you just gotta find that, that right angle and just run it down the skin. And it'll take that meat off, just like so. Now, on these stripers, and a lot of game fish actually, they have this, this red muscle meat right here. And that red muscle meat, is uh, it tastes nasty. So you really want to get rid of all of the red muscle meat. You want to only leave the nice white meat of the fish. So, and a lot of that red muscle meat is right next to the skin. So once you get good, like this, I won't be trimming much of this off because I didn't cut right next to the skin, I just left a little bit of that meat. And this, this is the most time consuming part of, of cleaning the fish, I think, is removing this red muscle meat. Because you don't want to move, remove too much, because you waste meat, but you don't want to leave any because then it'll taste like crap. And for this part, I definitely like to use the regular fillet knife and not the electric one. And a lot of that probably has to do with, with experience. Like, I have a lot more experience with the regular fillet knife because this is how I learned. Um, I'm sure there's people that can use the electric fillet knife and, and probably do a better job than I can with the regular fillet knife. But that's not me. Man, that's a thick fillet. That's like an inch thick. And there's this lateral line right here that's got some of that nasty meat on it. I'm gonna try and cut that out. Yeah. It looks like it goes all the way through. So I'm just gonna cut it, cut it out like this. And we're not gonna waste any of this meat. We'll put it in a little baggie. Use it for catfish bait. And just like that, all clean white meat. Now the hybrid, we're gonna do the exact same way. I wonder which one we'll get more meat off of. The striper was five pounds, this one was four pounds. So the striper had a, was a little heavier. We'll see if it had more, more meat on it. And again, I'm gonna clean this one the exact same way. Just slide that knife right down the backbone. Right there you go through, and follow that backbone down. You carve it like a turkey. It's definitely harder to clean because it's thicker. There we go. I'm gonna 
just following those ribs down to about there. I'm gonna cut through, see where I cut through? I don't want any of that belly meat. If there's any, any kind of chemicals or anything in the fish, it's mostly gonna be in the fat. And most of the fat on a fish is stored in the belly meat. So I just cut that whole belly meat section out, this one right here, and I don't even worry about it. Oh shoot, I should have left that piece on there. Let's see if you forget to leave that piece on there, like me. Ouch. Let's see how much of a hassle that's going to make things. Uh, it's not too bad. I just put it back in place. It's not, it's staying for now. Let's see, follow that backbone down. We will open the belly up on this one to see what he ate here in a second. And another trick to this is you want a nice flat surface. When you lay that skin down in the fillet, if you have a nice flat surface, it's real easy to follow. About the same amount of red muscle meat there as the regular striper. See right there, that's some of that fat I was telling you about. You want to get all that fat off. You definitely don't want to eat any of the fat. I know bluegills and stuff don't have this this red muscle meat. You can you can pretty much eat all of the meat on a bluegill. But these bigger fish like this, also, um, I cleaned a snook once, and it's it's pretty much exactly like this. Nice white meat with that that red muscle meat right along the skin. Oh, that was much better. See that? I'm getting the hang of it. Now that's all white meat. I left all the muscle meat by the skin. That saves a lot of time in trimming it up. Because now I just have to cut down this lateral line here, one on each side, and it'll be clean. Oh yeah, that's a good looking filet right there. Excellent, so here is our hybrid. Let's see what's in his stomach. All right, here's this one's stomach. It looks empty also. What in the world is that? Oh wow, check it out. It's got a fish hook in it. I don't even think it's sharp anymore. It's like ingrained. And look at this one's liver. Look at how different color it is. This fish definitely wasn't healthy. It was probably gonna die soon. Cause this fish hook is, wasn't coming through, it's like it's old and rusty. It's been in there for a long time. Look at that fish hook, you guys. It doesn't even have the eye anymore. It rusted through. That's crazy. Yeah, and his liver's definitely a different color. It's awesome, the stuff you can learn. Well, Tim, this fish bested somebody else. It didn't best you. That's a good fillet right there. I'm happy with that one. And this one, I'm pretty sure is a male. Because I think that is a fish testicle. You want to eat it, Tim? <laughs> Save it some fish mountain oysters.